Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Terry and this is another edition of an Orchid Today and that is my hi-fi camera for those of you who do not believe. But anyway, this is for Jerry and this is a future video. This is my Selogeny Confusa that I've had for way too long. Um, I feel like such a failure with this plant uh, because I have been able to get the plant to grow, but I've not gotten a single flower out of it. And it has been repotted when I, since I got it. I got it, yeah, I repotted it 120, about a year ago. I have noticed that the growths do climb up a bit. So I'm going to have to figure out how to remedy that. But it is growing. Just no blooms. And I will post a picture of Jerry's blooms that she brags about every year. She's even divided hers and then at the same time complains about how she can't grow orchids. And look at mine. I think I should be the one complaining. But anyway, in a future video, I'm going to cut this plant. And I do mean cut it. I haven't found the right knife yet because this plant needs a wake up call so that it knows that I mean business. And I ain't playing around with it because this plant is representing the selogeny, the entire selogeny genus. When this fails, Selogeny fails, and I'll be done with selogeny. So I am going to do that in a future video. I'm going to chop it up, pot them up in smaller pieces, fresh media, even though it's not broken down. But I got to try something because it's just not doing what it should. And I want to do better. So I'm going to turn this off and go show you a few more surprises in the greenhouse. All right. So we are back here in the jungle. And this right now is the fragrant corner because it is just amazing the smells that are here. So I did show one of the surprises yesterday, which was, um, I can't even remember now, but it was a spike that I had discovered. And let me find that spike. I will find it for you. Although I have another one <coughs> that is just as a surprise. But anyway, we've seen all of this. Uh, wow, is it bright. And the surprise that I showed yesterday is right here. This, that is going to be a flower. And at the moment, that's the only one that I see Okay, and let's go down and look at the other surprise. Yay! Can't wait for that cluster of spikes to develop further. And I am seeing more activity now that the light is on and I can see it more. This is my... Uh, Florida stars and I'll slowly make my way down to where I'm gonna get to I have to move this slow folks or else I will dump something but so I've got some moss and I have been adding moss to some of my bare root uh, orchids and this was one that I've added moss to and this is my 
epidendrum, compress them. And I got that from Andy's about a year ago. And the tag said that it likes a lot of water, bright light. And I don't think I was giving it a lot of enough water because as you can see, but in, in any event, as I wrapped the sphagnum and tied it with my zip ties, it has two growths on it. That one has previously bloomed. And when I got over to this one, I, for the first time, noticed a sheath. And that looks like definitely the beginning of what is going to be a flower spike. Clearly, that's a flower spike. Again, that is my epidendrum compressum. A surprise. Yay, yay, yay. One thing that I do have to do pronto is I have to put up, stretch the shade cloth. You can see my fowls are not liking the light too much. So I have to do that. Look, too much. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Enjoy your orchids.